Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, so I did go ahead and decide to share my um, finished Copic marker and sketch marker storage uh, organization. Uh, well, I didn't change the Copics. Those are the Copics over here. I store my uh, markers in these Michaels carts. These are the long, narrow, I think it's the Hudson cart. I'm not sure what the name of it is. But you can see here is my Copic sketch marker um, storage um, solution. And it's in one of these uh, MDF trays from R. Gray Barn over on Etsy. And then I actually purchased the original um, Copic sketch, not Copic, sorry, the sketch marker brush pro additional units um, for storing my markers. I had it in the lighting grid before that I had made, you know, from parts and pieces. But um, if you purchase the sketch marker Pr brush pro sets, the big sets, I think it's a 96 set you will get the plastic containers that they go in. They actually come in those containers, which is really nice because they're a good, um, it's affordable in that manner, I think. Um, but I didn't do that when I started purchasing the markers. I actually started mm, by buying three sets and then I had uh, purchased individually the last set, which I don't know if that was a better idea or not, but um, I have the plastic containers and they make them in two sizes um, you can kind of see there's a gap in the middle in a way and that's because there's a container over here a large one I should say and a large container right here holding these markers and then the rest of them like that those last two rows there um, this one these here in the front are all the smaller containers and I can hopefully lift one up I'm hand holding the camera so this last one here you can see is um, a smaller plastic one. So they do make them in two sizes. Um, this one is not full, okay? So um, had I started collecting the markers where I got all the trays, then, you know, obviously that would be a different story. So anyway, there are a total of 400 markers. I have... 397. <laughs> you certainly don't need all 400 colors. Um, I'm missing two, which I have not been able to get open stock. They seem to be in here in the United States. They seem to be out of um, this color all the time. I don't know if it's the pigment or what, but one of them is R111. The other one is O22. And for some reason, I have not been able to get my hands on those markers, but it doesn't make any difference to me because I have, because I have the Copics, um, which is what I primarily use, I can always substitute. These are both sets of alcohol markers. So you can use them interchangeably. You can use them together, which I have done. And it's actually very nice because there are some nice fill-ins on the Sketch Marker Brush Pro that, um, that the Copic um, colorway doesn't have, in my opinion. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. I wanted to show you those organized. This is actually not a, um, I don't want to say it's a better way of storing them. It's just a different way. Uh, the only reason I, um, went ahead and bought the plastic cases is because one, I also use them to store my Copic refills and I have all the original refills, which I can show you as well. Um, but, um, uh, this makes them spread out a little bit more. In the marker grid, they're they're more tightly um, stored. So it doesn't take as much room in the top of the cart. And I had actually more space maybe in the top of the cart than I used to. I'm not sure. So um, this is the storage of the markers. And I keep them in the cart so that I can just pull it closer to my desk. Um, I do keep... Um, my uh, Copic refills down here, okay? So you can see them sort of peeking out and I put them in the same holders that are holding all my my um, sketch marker pros. So if I go down here, I'm just gonna bend over um, a little bit. These are, this is all my storage for my stamps, um, just extra storage, but I do have the entire set of the Copic refills in here and I have cotton swabs, 
you use that to clean your caps if you clean. <laughs> and then I have one up here because it won't fit um, down in the um, below because the refills are a little bit wider. But again, I have um, larger plastic bins holding the refills and I also have smaller ones. So um, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, these smaller bins are the exact same uh, width as the larger bins. It's just that the larger bins are actually longer, so they hold more markers. And because, of course, I didn't need a large one to hold the remaining portion of my refills, um, you can see that there is, let's see, um, let me count them because I, want, I don't want to tell you incorrectly. Two, four, six, eight times four, which is 32. There's four rows of eight in this smaller bin, okay? And so that holds 32 refills. And like I said, these are the original Copic refills, not the round ones that are newer and smaller. Uh, and because they are rectangular, they fit really well in this thing. Now, I don't know if the new refills fit in here too because I don't have any of those. I probably won't need one of those for a very long time. Um, but like I said, um, these larger bins are, uh, let's see, one, two, four, six, eight. So um, eight times eight, 64. They hold double the number of refills, Copic refills, than the smaller bin does. And the only reason, again, that I thought about this is because I had um, purchased these from Sketch Bar, and I'll put the link in the description box, but these were on sale um, recently. I don't know if they still are, but the whole, the acrylic cases were on sale for 30% off from their website. So I went ahead and purchased them because I like having the refills in order so that I, when I go to look for one, it's, you know, where I expect it to be. And um, I have to lay this one down because it won't fit um, the other way in the cart. But you can see that I have them all in here. Um, so I wanted to show you that. Um, I've been reorganizing my marker and color pencil storage a little bit just to accommodate for the new markers I've been buying. Um, and so I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so I'm back at my desk. Um, I did take some time to... Um, I was getting ready to swatch all these out. These are the new aqua markers from Sketch Marker that I purchased. You could see um, what I did was I put tape over the ones that I do not have. So you can see actually uh, which ones I don't have. That's <laughs> just some washi tape on the actual um, palette that they gave us. Um, this comes in the box. And I did organize the markers in a different manner. I'm used to looking them looking at the colors in the Copa color range um, order. So I have basically taken my markers and put them in sort of that um, order. So this first wallet is like your violets. And then we move to pinks and reds and then yellows. And you can see there's gaps here. Again, I marked on the chart which colors I did not have. So I left gaps for them in case I go back and purchase. Um, and I still do want to go ahead and swatch these on my own. I know this is a color palette that does tell you what color it is, but I like to have the actual swatched color um, from my own markers when I um, go to color. I don't know how often I use that, but um, I need to make up my own color chart because I haven't been able to find one that is one you would color in yourself. So this is a comes with the marker sets when you buy them um, as a set. And um, I will be swatching mine out in this um, paper here. This is Bristol Vellum from Strathmore. So it's a nice smooth cardstock. It's very thick. I have cut it down to the size of my traveler's notebook size um, insert so that I can just put this in there. And whenever I use the markers, I pull this out and look at the color. Um, I will store this inside the case because it fits. So um, I have two cases of the markers. There are 72 total. Uh, one is a blender. The rest are some different colors. And you can see which colors I do not have. And they are out of stock on the Sketch Bar website um, that has them individually. So 
um, I'm not a big deal. I can wait, um, but I wanted to share that with you, what I've been doing. I think I'm going to go ahead and do some coloring today um, since I have some time off. And I will talk to you later. Bye for now.